You may know Kathy Trocek uh, by her pen name, Mary Kay Andrews. And you may have been captivated by her stories as beloved and best-selling authors write from mysteries and stories about Southern stories like Spring Fever, Savannah Blues, Beach Town, and The Weekenders. Kathy is testimony to how great he can light a fire to write and lifelong commitment to telling stories. A former red and blacker and reporter with the AJC, Kathy is an inspiration for our students and to all of us with a novel in the drawer. May she tell us what book is coming out next. We may find out. Please welcome Kathy, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, when Dean Davis called me a few weeks ago or months ago, the first thought I had was that he was calling to say he wanted my diploma back <laughs> because I was not a stellar student. But I was, I think, someone inspired to tell stories. And that's what I learned to do at the Grady School of Journalism. I took my first journalism class at Georgia in January of 1974. And for those of you uh, who are aboard the Wayback Machine, you may remember January of 1974. Because that first week of 1974, January, was when Richard Nixon refused to turn over tapes, secret tapes, from the Oval Office to the special Watergate prosecutor. Now, it was just, uh, I always wanted to write. I always thought I'd be a journalist. That was my lifelong dream. But when I was here at Georgia, taking journalism classes and working at the Red and Black, the skills, you know, I don't, I don't uh, practice journalism anymore. I tell lies for a living. <laughs> but the thing about fiction is it's always rooted in the truth. And the skills I learned at Grady and at the Red and Black, which was my learning lab, I learned to ask important questions. And as my colleague and friend and classmate, Tony Barnhart, said tonight, I didn't just learn to ask questions. I learned to ask follow-up questions. I learned to ask questions. I learned to listen. And I learned to listen to the way people spoke, and I didn't know at the time, but those are all skills that would be part of the toolkit I would need for writing fiction. And the other things I learned were to question authority and to challenge authority. One of my classmates and colleagues from the Red and Black is here tonight, and I'll never forget, one day he gave me a ride to the library on the old campus, it was Sunday, and he parked in President Fred Davidson's parking space. <laughs> and I said, why would you do that? And he said, because I can. <laughs> but you know, I started at Grady in January of 1974, and by August of 1974, and in January of 1974, the White House was infested with crooks and liars. By August of 1974, the President Nixon resigned. Now you flash forward to the time and day we live in today. Journalists, the students you are training today, the journalists who are practicing today, I honestly believe you're doing the most important work you can do. I'm just writing stories. I'm writing stories to entertain and as diversion for the hard times we live in. But I am full of admiration and inspiration for the work the students, the faculty, 
and all of you who are practicing in some field, you are doing the work that needs to be done. I am inspired by you, and I am grateful to you, and I just hope that you will continue to do what needs to be done. And I would just like to close by saying, Go dogs!